be about uh, uh, putting the Toyota together. You know, y'all see me painting the bumper. Got Isaac with me today. He's going to go venturing. Mm -hmm. you know, he, maybe I'll get some uh, yeah. on my phone. Maybe he'll send us some video of what he sees today. We can stick it in the video. So I've got to get a few things moved around. The Beetle. Uh, Y'all have seen it in the video. Sitting here. Dad's a little play toy. Because the only place I got to work is under the carport. Which is right there in front of me. That's where I got to work. So I got to move that thing out of the way. For some reason it won't. It doesn't want to start. I think it's uh, got a bad connection. Dad says it's wire connection to the starter. Uh, I think it's just he tried on connecting the battery cable. Or something. I don't know. I just need to look at it. Alright. I'll show you what we got going on here in a little bit. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to prepare this. This is what we're going to do. And now I'm hoping this is the LED control module that controls the headlights. If any of y'all ever dealt with these high-intensity headlight bulbs, you have to buy the whole thing. You can't just replace the bulb. Yeah, so if you wreck one of these, you're looking at spending some big money on a headlight. On most of these high-intensity headlights nowadays. So I'm going to repair the fender. I'm going to repair the hood to the best of my ability, as in it really needs a hood, but I'm going to try to make that one work for now. Uh, and I'm missing one piece, this bottom piece. So I've got to get that. Oh, sorry. Y'all didn't see it. This piece here is part of the bumper. No. Yeah. So I've got that to deal with. Uh, missing that piece, uh, which would be this little piece here. I didn't see that I needed that. I didn't pay attention. So I got to get that piece. And uh, most everything, I got a door handle and a mirror. And I'm going to try to repair this door. Uh, it ain't going to be easy, but it ain't going to be... It's going to be cheaper than buying a door. So anyway... This is what we're working on today. And then uh, I've already painted the hood. I mean, the, the bumper. So, all right. First things first, jack it up. Pull all this inner strip clips off this little end. This little piece here. Get that out of the way. I've never, it's been a while since I've took one of these bumpers off. So, well, I haven't never took one off this brand or this new of a car they're all somewhat the same clips and screws and clamps and snaps and all kinds of stuff I don't see where to jack it up I don't know where to jack it up it's been so long huh. got a belly pan over there so now I gotta figure out how to jack it up Alright y'all. Well I've got the start taking the under skirt off, 10 millimeter. But inner fender, I don't know if it comes with everything that I need. So I'm opening it up to see what I got. And mangle it. Oh it does have it. Awesome. That's the piece I was worried about. I guess it's count. This was the piece I was worried about being on there. That. So. Alrighty. Lay it out in the sun. I'm going to lay it out in the sun since it's been all wrapped up in a box. Let's see if we can get it back to normal. There's a couple of them. These couple of clips they use nowadays I don't much I've never seen. So in my younger days, pretty common Christmas trees like this. But uh, these are they're different now. They they use some kind of, I'll show you on this other side. I'm gonna probably have to run the toy other place and pick them up. But I don't have them. And I've never seen them before, so this must be a new design of a clip they use. 
There we got the kind of figured all out, boys and girls. Actually, I'm gonna take these clips and put them on the cow. So this piece just comes off of just a filler piece. Now I can get it here. I've got Phillips head screws and 10 millimeter. Ten Phillips and 10 millimeters. Ain't that something? Alrighty. I don't need that up there anymore because I won't need it anymore. Alright. <clears throat> Phillips heads. Two Phillips heads. I'm going to lay them right here for now. These don't fall off from anywhere to get there. And I need this. We have 10 millimeters. Top here. Ooh. Just two of them. Two 10 millimeters. Right there. We have a rubber. It's going to have to come off. Hey, what are these pigs here? Clip tool. Clip tool. Okay, there's a red in the corner edge there. Ooh. Oh, come on here. A little bit. Alright, a little piece of rubber goes on the, the hood. Hopefully, none of the clips broke, which I don't think so. Let's hope this Toyota Emblem. Ooh, it's gonna be tough to get off. I think it's glued on. I'll have to get that off without breaking it. And I have a good way of doing that, and that's using a piece of uh, windshield wire. Since it's glued on, Feels like so. What's your wire? Take a piece of windshield wire. It's kind of hard to see. See here, I stuck it in behind it. See how I've stuck it in behind the emblem. Stuck it in behind the emblem. And I saw it. I've already went from here to there, cutting through here. So. It's uh, I need some pliers. All right, can't do it with my fingers. So just like cutting a windshield out, this is where you cut a windshield out. I think y'all watched me do that on the Capri build. Oh, which one? Whichever one you use. May have watched my channel, I don't know, y'all don't. I'm not the greatest person videoing, but my grandson's sending me some Isaac, he's sending me some Isaac cam. So we'll get to check that out. He's down there where I used to play as a kid in the woods checking it out. I told him it was some cool stuff down there. All right, so now I'm gonna have to pull through that. I'm gonna pull it back through just a little bit. I know y'all can't see this. Oh, I got. I wish I'd have brought my stand. Because oh man, I gotta go. But I gotta come back out. All right. 
Alright, here we go. He's poking in behind it. Poke it. Digging into the paint. <laughs> I'm about to go the other way. I think. All right, y'all seen me saw it through. Y'all seen, y'all kind of had an idea. It's loose. So now, see, and it cleaned most of the glue off. So now, oh, I broke one of the tabs. Dang it. Well, I can just glue that back together. At least I got the whole thing off without breaking it. Now I can put it back in the end pumper. <clears throat> uh, let's see, see what it looks like. I may go on and glue it on right quick. Oh yeah. Look at there. Perfect. Look like a new bumper now. But I got to put some adhesive glue on it because I'm not going to Try to put two-sided tape on there. That's tough. So I'm just going to put some adhesive glue on there and hope like crazy it holds. So, <clears throat> adhesive glue. Let's see if I can find some of this shit. There we go. Plastic and an emblem adhesive glue. That's what we're going to use to put it on with. So, we'll go from there. This is what it looks like. Pretty good stuff. This needs to come, this bracket here is not lined up with this hole here. So I've got to bring it down more. I've got to figure out how to bring it out. Alright, so from the last update, the last we thing got we all did. The wiring done. Yeah. And then you put the um windshield washer bottle in. Yeah, the windshield washer bottle. Yeah. Now we're fitting the headlight and we're gonna to have to buy a hood because that's aluminum hood and I can't fix it. It's just me So we just buy aluminum, we just have to buy another hood. Alright. What's Great. next? He's missing a boat. Alright. Missing a boat right there. He's missing a boat? Missing a boat. Boat? Yeah, I got to find a boat. And right now he's trying to get the headlight to fit to fit. Yeah. So yeah, alright. Good luck. Alright. Ah, right, see, drop the boat. Dang it. It's right there. Where? Is that it? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, Where? it just fell. Got it on video too. That goes, that, I already had that bolt, so I don't really need that bolt. Come with the package. All right. Bracket. Well, we'll try to update y'all when something interesting happens again. Yeah, hopefully uh, have a, uh, we're done for today. we got to get paint for the grill piece. All right, so I guess this is part one? Yeah, this is part one. All right. It's part good. One. Part one. We got the dent out of the fender. Oh, yeah, we he did fix the fenders. You can go back in the video and see what it looked like before. So this is what it looks like now. Yeah. Oh, I got that. Yeah, that's it. I got all that. Everything's good to go. Alright, so are we done for the day? Uh, almost. Uh, I'm still trying to get that bolt in, and then I'm done. Alright. I gotta try to get that bolt in, and I'm done. Yeah. Well, alright. Homie here is riding up in, you know, riding out in Mexico. Thank you. Yeah. I pulled cranking that thing and pulled the finger tied off the finger. We waited all day to get that thing running and I finally yanked it to a point I, if you can see my finger, that's from yanking on that rope. I pulled the hide, plumb off my finger. Uh, anyway. Alright, that's good for today. Okay. Uh, yesterday when we left off, I was needing trim paint around the town. Got some trim paint. It's close to it. The trim color that I had, nobody could give me the right color for it or make me no color for it, so I had to improvise. So, there's my piece. I'm putting the coat on it. At least it'll be the same color. It probably won't be as shiny like the rest of it, but like I said, we're just trying to get this thing back to one piece. Now I've been trying to take the door panel off, and this is a, yeah, 
I got to get in there and I don't think I'm going to be able to get in there behind the door like I need to to fix that. So I need to get that pushed out some. That's my goal. Uh, and when I had the hood down, when I had the hood down, I realized the headlights kicked out this way. The more I got, the more I got looking at it, when she hit that pole, in this area right here, you can see it pushed it back and it pushed it in just a little bit. I don't think it pushed the whole piece back. I think it just bent it in some. That's pretty strong right there. So I'm gonna get a porta power in there and I'll, sh I'll set up a video on that and show you how we use porta power on that. Yeah, we got the door panel off. It's pretty much, pretty much the door panel. It's got a screw here. Most everything snaps together to get to it. You got a screw there, a screw there, and a screw in there. All you do is peel these covers off. They just pop right off. Pop, pop, little screwdriver. Stick it in behind it, pop it off. Here, you, and then you just grab it, grab it on the bottom and yank it off. It just clips on. Now I gotta get in here. These just snap. You'll see it once you get it apart, you'll figure it out. There's nothing to it. So now I got to get in here. Oh, these little things just, uh, they twist, pull them out. Throw them in the floorboard so you don't lose them. There's that one. <clears throat> There's that one. Then that should just probably be glued on. We'll just pop it loose. That's how we're gonna get it off. Just got these other little clips on here. Okay. So you just oh, get a little interior tool. See, one of these are good. One of these come in handy when you're doing interior work. Come in real handy. They come in handy for a lot of things. So you can get in there behind it and pop it. Oop. About to fall out. About to fall out. Oop, got another one right down here. Oh, see, it just fell right off. All right, so now I got to get in there and do some hammering. Good job. So, no, I ain't gonna be able to film doing this, but I can get up in there to the door handle. There you go. You'll see it right there is the door handle area. So, now to take the door handle out, you got a screw right up into there. Uh, See, it goes right there, which would be up in this area here. And this thing goes into the door. Right here. That's how the door handle holds in. Then you have another screw back here that you take this plug off and you can get to it. And that's what holds this piece on the outside of the door. So... I need to get this. I got to take the door handle out because that's just, I see I've started using a stud gun. Oh, don't shut. Dang it. I don't think I can get the door up now. Anyway, I used a stud gun. The bad part about using a stud gun on this tin can is it burnt holes, right? It jerks holes right through it. So, but I do have this feeling pretty good right here. I got to get this part out. And then I'll move on down to this section. So I'm getting the door back in shape, just taking slow the time, a little bit at a time. So I've got the fender somewhat shaped up up there. I have to put a little lipstick on this pig, make her a bit better. Right now we're gonna get it just straight, cover the metal up so it don't rust, and send her on her way. All right. After I pulled and beat and banged and pulled, beat and banged. I somewhat got the door pu pushed out. The uh, camera don't really show, but it's gonna need mud and steel. I mean, it's still gonna need some mud, but looks better than it did. Uh, uh, you know, it's just a quick fix. If it's if I was doing a customer's car, it would have got a door. 
but since it's my daughter's, I just wanted to look decent for her, save some money. I'm repairing what I got. I can always replace the door later. Uh, that's why I'm not fixing the dog leg because I'm not going to take the time to hook up the frame machine, weld a piece on there, and pull all that out because that's what it's going to take. That's a tough place to pull. All I want to do is make this look halfway decent in the fender so I can get some paint, some paint on it. That's all I need to do. Now I'm going in here and get some mud going. And, uh, hey, I've been using these things here. Uh, they work pretty good. And Dad's got a whole box of them. And they work really good. I use all different kinds of tools. They work pretty good. A, guy, a gentleman give him these. And uh, there's all kinds of stuff in here to do dents with. Dent wizard stuff. Yep. All right, I got the trim piece in the bumper. It's a little off color. Like I said, I didn't have the right trim color. Nobody could give me the right trim color. So I may fix that later. But I got that in. So I got that done. Now I'm ready to put primer on this. It's a, it's a quickie. Just trying to make it look prettier. Make it usable. That's all I care about. Usable. Don't care what it looks like. Well, you know. If I did care what it looks like, then I wouldn't be bondoing up. But, you know. Well, there's some primer on it. So, it ain't high build. I didn't have no high build. That's just a primer surfacer, like a sealer. At least to cover up all the bare metal. And... Got the fender done, so now, tomorrow, I think, just to, I don't know, I wish they had a paint booth. I could make it look even better if I could paint it in the paint booth, but the paint booth's taken up. So all I can do is, I got some base left over, I got might as well use it. I'm going to color it in with some base and put it together, and that way at least it's not riding around with primer spots. Well, I decided to drive to Zephyr. The, the Lincoln home. Haven't drove it since uh, we got it all dialed up and uh, you know, got a video on it. I was using it today, I had to go to town and I'll be darned the dang cruise control it works. I think I could put a little shot of Freon in the AC and get it to work. That darn power antenna even works. But the radio won't work. Can't get the radio to work. It, uh, just makes static. And every once in a while, 103.7 a play. But anyway, cruising home in the Lincoln. Yeah, riding in my hot rod Lincoln. All right, this is like the third day, I think. Third day, it's like eight in the morning, I don't know. That old carport's got the dew dripping off of it. So, my goal is to get the bumper on. You see it on the stand back there. Got my cup of joe. Uh, I'm, I think I'm gonna just go on and I'm gonna paint it where it's at. I got enough base I can get some color over the primer spots and just clear the do two doors in the fender. I ain't worried about it. At least it will look all decent except for the hood. I need a hood and I'll, I'll get that later because that's probably going to be expensive. That's an all aluminum hood. Uh, and I got to buy front tires. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's the next step. So, here we go. Well, I ordered this inner fender off of eBay and it ended up being, uh, I mean, they poured the, they poured the plastic in the mold, and all the holes were not even opened up. I mean, I'll just show you. See right there. And then I had to cut them all open. That one, that one, and these right here. I don't think I got to cut them open, but like the clip holes. There's supposed to be a clip right there, and then these big. These big holes on the side. I had to cut them open. Look at that one. I mean, come on, man. Really? 
allow. So be careful what you buy when you buy stuff off the internet, especially when it comes to aftermarket stuff. You can get some junk. I mean, I don't even know why they spent the money to make the, the, the mold to, to build, to make the darn thing, but it don't even finish it. It's just, I don't get it, but whatever. All right, I got the front bumper on. The front end, uh, after putting the front end on, it was, uh, it is moved over a little bit, but I, I'm, I can make it work. All I'm trying to do is get the car back together to work. It's, it's feasible, usable. Uh, uh, let me show you what I got. So you can see right here. See, then they, they, the factory had it glued in there. So I, I, I don't know how they had it glued in there. But I've had to pop this in. But remember how I said this headlight was out? Well, that's because this part's, this part's moved over. But I do have the front bumper on. And when I bought the bumper, I didn't think that was wrong with it. Uh, this little area was broke off. There's a little area under here it's broke off where you, where you put it together. So I got to figure that out. I had to put a screw in this one because this is broke off. There's no way you can put any clamp or nothing on there. So I don't know what to do. I mean, <laughs> I got to do what I can do to get it together. I done spent money and painted the bumper and everything. So <clears throat> I got to go home and get the key because I left the key. And uh, I got to take a breather. It's not that hot today, but it must be humid. Because, I mean, look at me, I'm drenched. Anyway. You know, I've been driving this Zephyr back and forth in the house, and I had to take it to town. And <laughs> Not Zephyr, I keep saying Zephyr. I tore that up the other day coming from Salisbury. I tore third gear out again. <sighs> Transmission just can't handle it. Anyway, ooh, let me turn the radio down. Let me turn the radio down so I get before I get monocast, whatever they call that crazy junk. But anyway, I'm liking the old Lincoln Fazai, Fazai, however you pronounce it. But uh, it's pretty fun. Anyway, I just thought I'd let y'all know. It gets up and goes pretty good. It's got good acceleration. Not bad for old small pump 302 C. I think it's a C4. With a nine inch board. So, yep, I like it. Well, I feel like I'm at the beach with the wind blowing. First time I've ever painted a car outside in the dirt. I'm gonna put some water on that though. Uh, a full-blown body shop. Can't even get in it because it's turned into a storage building with other people's stuff. So, <laughs> yeah, that's a new one on me. I was gonna take it to my house and do it. Problem with my house is I don't have ventilation. I got a booth where I can make it make shit booth, but I don't have a fan strong enough to pull vapors out, and it wouldn't do that with spray. So I guess I'm taking the chance of painting in the dirt. I'll show you what it looks like. Alright, I didn't show me basing it. I'm sorry. I'm gonna show you clear and I, I got I'm in a hurry. That's the color we put on it. 209 black sand, which is a black pearl. Uh, I gotta clean my gun up. Like I said, it's just to make it worthy to drivable. It ain't perfect. It ain't going to be perfect. I didn't try to make it perfect. I can boot better if I wanted to, but this is just a quick fix to get it going. So my daughter's not riding around with beat them doors and bashed in primer spots. That's all we're doing. We still got to replace the hood. So when I do, when I replace the hood, I may go on and finish the rest of it and make it pretty and repaint it. So there's the base. I got 20 minutes. It'll be like five till the hour. That's what I'm looking at. So, all right.
Well, it ain't too bad. I mean, it ain't perfect. It didn't work. You can see myself. That's the main thing. <laughs> 